This video demonstrates the benefits enrollment form. This form allows employees to enroll in benefit plans online as soon as they become benefits eligible. The benefits enrollment form was created as an alternative to delivered benefits administration functionality to provide additional customizations for the client. When an employee becomes benefits eligible after hire, rehire, or another job action, an automated process creates, pre-populates, and saves a form for the employee. The employee receives an email notification with a link to the form. The employee can also navigate to the form using the benefits enrollment tile. Benefits administrators can also access their employee's enrollment forms to help as needed. Click the benefits enrollment tile to get started. The benefits enrollment tile leads to a fluid navigation collection where an employee can access and manage benefit forms. Click the Submit Initial Benefits link. Display only employee information appears at the top of the first page. A preparer segment displays the user completing the form. The Special Circumstances segment asks me questions about rare situations that might apply to me. If I indicate yes to any of the questions, I can see additional instructions to help me complete my benefits enrollment process. Medicare enrollees must attach a Medicare card. Employees transferring from another state agency must attach a form to transfer benefits participation. Returning retirees may be subject to benefits limitations. Employees who may have changed their name since enrolling need to complete additional documentation. There's another hidden segment on this form designed to show only for research grant and time-limited employees. The Deduction Start Date segment displays relevant coverage and deduction dates. Deduction and coverage dates are calculated based on the eligibility date and the requirements of the client's state benefit system. In most cases, employees enrolling in benefits must designate dependents, beneficiaries, or both. If none are listed, an edit message fires reminding the employee to add at least one beneficiary. Click the List Dependent Beneficiaries toggle to get started. Indicate whether any dependents are non-U.S. citizens. If so, the employee is instructed to complete the enrollment process manually with a campus administrator. Instructions are provided to help an employee complete the list and include links to relevant information from the state system. Enter as many dependents or beneficiaries as needed. Social Security number is required for children one or older. Age calculates based on birth date. The age field is used to determine whether a child is eligible for benefits as a dependent. The Dependent Beneficiary Type field filters the options available in the Relationship field. Indicate whether a spouse is already covered by the state system. Select a premium option. The state system requires a small deduction for pre-tax premiums. This form will update PeopleSoft with all necessary deductions. Elect or refuse a medical plan. If refused, click Next to continue. If elected, select a benefit plan and medical dependents. Dependents are carried forward from the master list created on the first page. As dependents are elected, the coverage code automatically adjusts accordingly. Click Next to continue. Make a selection regarding tobacco use. This client charges an additional premium for tobacco use. Make a dental plan election. Select a dental plan and indicate any covered dependents. Make a Dental Plus selection. The Dental Plus coverage code will automatically match the dental coverage code. 
Make a vision election. Select a plan and indicate covered dependents. Make an optional life insurance election. The form calculates a guaranteed coverage amount based on the employee's base salary. Select a benefit plan that matches the amount of coverage needed. The election amount is updated based on the plan selected. Beneficiaries are carried forward from the master list created on the first page of the form. Enter a percent of benefits for each. Indicate a contingent as necessary. Make a spouse life insurance election and choose a plan. The child life insurance page was skipped because there are no dependent children in the master dependent beneficiary list. Basic life insurance defaults to enrolled for anyone electing a medical plan. Choose a basic life plan and indicate beneficiaries. Make a supplemental long-term disability election and choose a plan. Basic long-term disability is automatically elected for those electing a medical plan. Review information for additional voluntary benefits. Elect or refuse spending account options. The max annual contribution amount displays for reference. An edit message will show if the max amount is exceeded. This form updates PeopleSoft with deductions for spending accounts. The Enrollment Summary page provides an opportunity to review enrollments prior to submitting. An employee could print this page off for their records if needed. For employees who list dependents, additional documentation may be required. Upload one or more documents. A Medicare card or election for non-membership may be required based on answers in the Special Circumstances segment on the first page. Employees completing this form must acknowledge an action item designed to remind them that supporting documentation must be submitted before benefits start. Click Submit to start the approval workflow. This form is now ready for the first approver. A notification has been set up so that this approver gets an email that the form is ready to evaluate. The email contains a link that opens the form in evaluate mode. When this form is fully approved, it updates up to six PeopleSoft pages. Dependent beneficiary information, disability benefits, health benefits, life insurance, spending accounts, and general deductions. Thanks for watching and look for the next video in this series for the 403B election form.